Welcome! In this video I'm going to go over installing the Home Assistant app on the iPad. Along with that I'll go over some things to set this up as a sort of kiosk. So if you want to see my other Home Assistant videos, I'll put a link below to my Home Assistant playlist. So what I have here is an iPad Air 2. This is an older iPad. We're no longer using it. I've wiped it clean and I've updated it to the latest version of iOS. So I don't have a passcode on here. It's not connected to iCloud. The only thing that's logged in on here is the App Store. So I'll go to the App Store and I'll search for Home Assistant. And here we have the Home Assistant app. I'll tap on that. It's starting to download. Now it may ask you for your username and password. I just logged into here recently, so it's not asking me for that. Now, if the Home Assistant app is not available or not compatible because the iPad is too old, you might be able to just set it up using the Safari browser. So we just go to your URL to your Home Assistant instance. So I'll hit open. It says, welcome to Home Assistant for iPad OS. I'll hit continue. It says it would like to find devices on your local network. I'll say okay. So I have three Home Assistant servers. It found all three. Now it's just showing the IP address. So if you do have more than one instance of Home Assistant, you'll need to figure out which instance is which. So I want this middle one here, since I know the IP address of that. And now I need to enter in my username and password. So I'll pull that to the side here. So I hit login. So it says allow notification permission to create a notify service for your device. So I'll hit continue. So I'm going to allow this. Now if I'm setting this up as a sort of kiosk, I may not want notifications on this. So what I mean is like if I was going to mount this on a wall as a sort of home control interface. Where I like notifications is on a phone. So I'll get notified on my phone as I'm carrying it around throughout the day. So it wants to send critical alerts. I'll say don't allow. It says allow location permission to create a device tracker for your device. I'll hit continue. Now I don't want to do this on this iPad here. And it talks about motion and pedometer. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to do any focus kind of things on this. I just want Home Assistant to come up. So here we have Home Assistant up now on the screen. So this looks identical to the website. So if you've gone to Home Assistant on the web, you're gonna see this. So here I have a dashboard for lights. I'll tap on that. And I have three lights here. I have living room corner light, driveway light, and living room desk lamp. So if I tap that, it will turn on. Tap it again, it will turn off. I can also drag it to a certain percentage and it will turn the light on to that percentage. I guess I should say these are all Lutron switches here that have been integrated into Home Assistant. So this looks really nice. So I'll shut this off. Now, since I don't have a passcode on here, I'll hit the home button. I'll hit it again and we're coming back up to this screen. And I don't have to log in because I don't have a passcode on this device. Now needless to say, if you're not putting a passcode on a device like this, you need to think about security. As I said before, I don't have this logged into anything in my situation. I'm just talking about it from that perspective. So to set up kind of more of a kiosk mode, I want to set up what's called guided access. So first off, I'm on the lights dashboard here. I'll minimize this. I'll hit the home button and I'm going to go to the settings. And then I want to go to accessibility and I'll scroll down to guided access and I will turn that on. So let's go to passcode settings. It says set guided access passcode. So this is going to lock the system down and we're going to set a passcode when we want to unlock it. So I'll set a password and I'm not going to use a good password. But if you're doing this for your installation, you should. You can also use Touch ID. We can also set time limits. That's not something I want to do here. We have accessibility shortcut. So I'll turn that on. It says when you triple click the home button during a guided access session, accessibility shortcut settings will be displayed. So to get out of guided access, we'll just triple click that button. It'll ask for the passcode and we can get out of it and turn it off. Then we have display auto lock. So I'll tap on that. So you can have this turn off automatically. So this is set up now. I'll go to my home button. I'll go to home assistant. So I like this screen here. I'm going to triple click the home button. So here it says circle the areas on the screen you want to disable. So I'm going to circle this menu. The options here. And then the menu in the upper right. That didn't seem to take. Let's just do these one at a time. And I think that's everything. So you'll want to set this up and test it. I may have missed something here, but I think that's probably about right. Then down here at the bottom, we have options. So we have sleep, wake button, volume buttons, motion, keyboards, touch, and time limit. So that's probably about right. I'll hit start and it says guided access started. So now I can tap on the lights and change them. But if I try and tap on the side here, it doesn't work. So we can move this down a little bit. 
and up. And you can see the options there will move. I don't know if I can pull down and tap on those. It looks like I can almost do it. But you'll want to test this. And it may not be a big issue for those to show up. And you can also go within Home Assistant and change different settings and permissions. You'll just have to play around with this. But a setup like this can be used for a kiosk to control your Home Assistant. But then if someone clicks the Home button, it says, you're in guided access and it won't let them out of this. So now if I shut this off, oh, I need to turn on the wake button. So I'll triple click the home button. I'll enter in my passcode, go to options, and I need that sleep wake button. And I'll resume guided access. So now I can shut this off. So this can be dark, press the home button, it comes to the screen, you can operate the controls, and then you can turn it off. So I'm going to pull this in a little bit. There, that looks a little bit better with that being square like that. And I can clean this up a little bit too. I think this would be a little easier to set up if I had a stylus, but this model doesn't support stylus. So that's how you can set up Home Assistant on an iPad, and then we use guided access to set up a sort of kiosk mode. So this can be a way to give everyone access to Home Assistant, maybe even children, without giving them full access to it. Now you can get different iPad mounts and such, where you can mount this on a wall, and you can make a really nice interface. You could put weather data on here, or stats, or a monitoring system. There are lots of options you can do with this. Now if we want to get out of here, we'll triple click this button. We'll enter in the passcode and we'll end guided access. So now we can go back into the iPad. If we want to go back into guided mode, we can tap this, we'll triple click this, and it takes us right back into guided access. If we want to edit those, we'll just triple click again, and we can edit the grayed out areas. So there may be better dashboards for this too. I'm just using the default settings. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.